motivational story with moral, the white wolf versus black wolf. A group of Cherokee children gathered around their grandfather. They were filled with excitement and curiosity. That day, there had been quite a tumultuous conflict between two adults, and their grandfather was called in to mediate. The children were eager to hear what he had to say about it. One of the children in conflict asked a question to the grandfather that was puzzling him. Grandfather, why do people fight? The old man replied, Well, do you know my child, we all have two wolves inside us. They are in our chests and these wolves are constantly fighting each other. The eyes of the children had grown big by now. In our chests too, grandfather? Asked another child. The grandfather nodded his head in agreement and said, Yes. And in your chest too? Asked a third one. The grandfather replied, Yes, in my chest too. The grandfather sure had all the children's attention now. The grandfather continued. There is a white wolf and a black wolf. The black wolf inside us is filled with fear, lies, anger, envy, inferiority, sorrow, regret, jealousy, greed, ego, lust, and arrogance. The white wolf is filled with peace, love, hope, courage, humility, compassion, kindness, empathy, generosity, truth, and faith. And do you know, there is always a terrible fight between these two wolves. They battle constantly. Then he stopped. There was complete silence and all children were curiously looking towards him for him. It's the grandson that asked the initial question and could not handle the tension any more breaking the silence but grandfather, which wolf wins? The old Cherokee smiled and replied. That's simple, the one whom we feed the most. Moral of this story After reading this story, if you resonate and realize you will find this world is full of black wolf-dominated people. Not only this, if you introspect, you will find that there is always an internal conflict going inside you dominated by the black wolf. Is your spotlight on the black dots? The brain has a built-in negative bias that causes us to focus on bad things. By giving these negative emotions, black wolf, your headspace, you are fundamentally feeding them. Knowingly or unknowingly you feed emotions such as fear, inferiority, anger jealousy, and comparison. Well, don't worry you are not alone. As I mentioned above, most of us have a very underdeveloped white wolf. For some people, whilst growing up, it was not often fed by parents or those people in positions of authority, such as teachers. For some others, the corporate and organizational cultures encourage the black wolf. Such a surrounding environment leads your white wolf to be weak, skinny, and small. But that doesn't mean it's not possible to change your focus and attention, moving forward. You have a choice of which wolf you want to feed when experiencing internal conflict. 
You can stop feeding the black wolf and start feeding the white wolf at any given moment. It's also worth noting that this is something you need to work on constantly. It's true that some people find it more difficult than others to choose the white wolf, but at the end of the day, you can choose to stop feeding the black wolf and start feeding the white wolf. Thank you. If you like this video then please subscribe to the channel.